Now, I'm sure you've experienced this, especially if you've been using Drupal for a while, where you have created a few image styles, assuming a certain style of image will be uploaded. And then all of a sudden, a user uploads a portrait image. And then all of your image styles are cropping the portrait images right at the center. And this means that the images aren't looking that nice because the focal point of portrait images are generally right at the top, the face of the person. Now, the easy workaround for this is to crop images directly in Drupal. And today, I want to show you how to use image widget crop and focal point. So here is my sandbox site. And the only thing that I've done after installing Drupal 8 was creating this test article. And I tweaked the medium and large image style. Normally, they just use the scale effect. But... I've changed it so that they both use scale and crop just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So if we go into test article, you will see that this portrait image doesn't really look nice. The focal point is kind of cut in half. So let's just say the head is the focal point of the, of, uh, the image. It is cut in half. So to fix this problem, let's set up image widget crop so that editors can select and crop images directly within Drupal. So the first thing we'll do is install it. So click on extend and then search for image widget, one word, not two words because it won't appear. Image widget crop and then just install it. Now the first thing we need to do is create a crop type. So to do that, just go to configuration and you should see crop types, click on it, and then click on add crop type. And I'll call this one large, and I'll give it an aspect ratio of one to one, and we'll look at this soft limit and hard limit in a second. But let's just create this crop type. And now that we have the crop type, let's go back into configuration and attach it to an image style. Now this is important. So let's go to image styles and I'll add it to large and select manual crop and click on add and make sure you select large. Well, right now it's the only crop crop type. And what I'll do is make sure that manual crop appears first and scale and crop appears second because in the manual crop, users could still select a crop region, which is greater than 480 by 480. So it's important to have this final crop just to make sure that what we receive from the image style is correct. But again, it depends on how you wanna handle images and how your site is actually set up. But in my case, I always wanna know that the large image style always outputs images at 480 by 480. So click on update style. Okay, so now what we need to do is configure a widget. So when you are setting up image widget crop, there's really three parts to it. First, you need to create your crop type. Then you need to add your crop type to an image style. And lastly, you need to configure the image widget crop widget on the image field. So let's do that now. Let's go to structure, content types, and click on manage form display. And on the image field, just select image widget crop and click on the cog wheel and make sure you select large. Now, if you have created a crop type and it's not appearing here, make sure you add it to an image style. Crop types that are added to image styles will only appear here, okay? So just remember that your crop type needs to be part of an image style. And then just click on update and save. So now if we go to our test article, you can see that it's not cropped that well. Let's go edit. And we do get this field set where we can select a region and we can even resize it. And the reason why it's sticking to a to an aspect ratio is because we set it one to one. If you are cropping images, say for widescreen, you will set it for 16 by nine. 
So let's just crop this section and then click on save and keep published. And now you can see that the image has been cropped. Let's now look at the soft and hard limit. So what I'll do is I will go into configuration. I'll open up another tab and go into configuration and then go crop types. And then, then I'll, I'll edit the large crop type. And what I'll do is I'll set the soft crop, sorry, the soft limit to be 300 by 300 and the hard limit to be 200 by 200. And then click on save crop type. So if we go back to our test article, you can see that the crop is red. So if we go back, let's go back until it's blue. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but let me just move this down. You can see that right now it's blue. If we resize it, it is red. So right now we have reached the soft limit and it even says that up the top here, soft limit, uh, soft limit reached, but we can still resize it smaller until we hit the hard limit. Once we reach the hard limit, we can't go any smaller than that. So that's how you can use soft limits and hard limits. A soft limit just indicates to the editor, okay, you have reached a certain width and height, but you can still resize smaller. A hard limit doesn't let you resize smaller than what is set. So let's just set the crop here, for example, and then click on save and keep published. Now, one thing, that I've also noticed, and I'm not quite sure if, if this is a bug, is that if you have a hard limit set, it actually validates and says that the width and height is smaller than the allowed um, hard limit. So one way to get around that is just make it a bit bigger, just a few pixels bigger. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or I don't know if this is an if statement where they are using less than instead of equals or less than or vice versa. But if we click on save and keep published, it works.